Hey guys, so here is a, uh, a video, an update about my Botox, and as you can clearly see, this is something that's gone very, very wrong. So I had Botox about 20 days ago, and last week I had a little bit just under my eye here, a little inflammation and a little redness, and I actually thought at first that uh, my son had scratched me, but it just kept getting worse and it moved to the upper part of my lashes and then below as well. So I'm gonna close my eyes and kind of come in so you can see what happens when you have an allergic reaction. So apparently what they believe I'm actually allergic to is the anesthetic that was in the Botox and not the Botox. But it's painful, it's burning, and it's itching. And finally today they just started me on prednisone and then I also have like a topical gel ointment that I have to put on it. And I'm really hoping that by tomorrow or at least the next day this clears up. But I just wanted to put a little video out here really quick. I know obviously I have no makeup on and I look horrible because this is, but this is the reality of my Botox experience. And if you didn't see, I'll link below the video where we get Botox, my sister and I, for the very first time. My sister had no adverse reaction whatsoever. Hers are fine. And she was really happy with the results. The Botox, it has kicked in. Um, you know, quite a while ago now, but this allergic reaction is just getting worse and worse and worse. And so finally, uh, like I said, they've started me on prednisone and hopefully this clears it up. So that is my Botox gone wrong update. And I'll update again in a few days and just kind of show you um, how it goes. So this will be kind of like a steps video, but I'll do it all in the same upload if that makes any sense. Anyways, so this is day one of starting prednisone from a very bad Botox experience and I will let you guys know how I'm doing in a few days. Thanks hey guys, so, so this is day two of my Botox gone wrong update. So I look like crap. I've actually taken the day off work uh, today just because my eyes were so bad last night. So now I've taken prednisone. Yesterday was my first full day. So I'm taking 30 milligrams a day, 15 in the morning and then 15 again at night. So I had my full first dose yesterday. Then this morning when I woke up, I saw a major improvement with my eyes and I've since then taken my morning dose and I'll take another 15 milligrams this evening. So I'll close my eyes and kind of come in for you to see Compared to what they were yesterday, they're so much better. The itchiness is gone. I mean, it's still really bad, but it's not half as bad as it was. So obviously the prednisone is working, um, and I'm hoping that in a few days now this is finally the right uh, medication and this is gonna clear it up. Because when it first happened, um, like I said, it's been like this for a week now because two doctors here first put me on Reactin, which is an antihistamine, and that just wasn't strong enough. I was on 10 milligrams of um, Reactin and it did nothing, and they were just keep getting worse and worse all week. So finally, this is the first time I'm seeing a result, and they seem to be getting better. So um, I will keep posting until this goes away so that you can see my Botox gone wrong, this horrible reaction, and I hope to God this is done and a lot better by tomorrow. Good morning guys, it's day three now that I've been taking the prednisone. My eyes are getting much better every day. This morning when I woke up, they were a little bit dry and flaky. They're still red and they definitely still are a little bit irritating, but I'll close my eyes. I did just put on my um, all my facial moisture and I had to put a lot around my eyes. You can still see a little bit that there's like some dry and flaky parts. And also when I put on my um, facial moisturizer this morning around my eyes, definitely I can feel that it, it has a little bit of a burn to it. Um, but I have, I'm going to work today and I have to wear makeup. Um, I mean, I won't go without makeup. I have to see clients and stuff. So I'm about to put on my makeup now. Um, and I'll just insert a picture here where you can see what it looked like when I attempted to cover it up when it was really bad with makeup. Around my eyes, I looked like I was 80 years old. And then we'll see how it looks today. Tomorrow will be my last day of taking prednisone and then hopefully this will all be a thing of the past and obviously there'll be no more Botox for me. Okay, so that is me done for the day. I put on a little bit of makeup, not a lot. You can still see around the eyes that it's really like blotchy and rough. So it's definitely not the best application of makeup. I put on an extremely dark lip today to try to like avoid people noticing too much my eyes. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end this video now. I think these three days have kind of shown you the whole point of what I wanted to show you. How, you know, you can get a bad reaction from Botox. And if you do, if you've had it, it doesn't happen right away or it doesn't have to happen right away. I had my Botox um, for about 
15 days, 14 or 15 days when I first started noticing the reaction and then obviously I let it get out of hand for a week until finally I started the prednisone and then now it's clearing up. So if I have any major changes and I'll update in the comments or maybe I'll make another video but for right now I think this shows a good example of Botox gone wrong and the healing process, the prednisone is clearly working. So be careful ladies if you want to get Botox, really be informed because my doctor basically told me this exact question that I asked, will I get an allergic reaction, can there be side effects, basically told me that you know it was so far, far, one in a million, it just never happened. You know, really make sure you be informed. You probably don't need the Botox anyways. I'm sure you're all beautiful just as you are. So thanks so much for watching. Good luck and leave in the comments below if you've ever had something similar like this to happen or a good experience with, go with Botox or whatever you think of my crazy eye situation. Bye.